Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and welcome to part four in our series in adding and editing content center components in Autodesk Inventor. In this video, I'm going to take the component that I added in the last video and make some modifications to the table. So, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the Manage tab on my ribbon and enter the Content Center editor here. Once that's open, I'll locate the component that I added. I'll right click on it and I'm going to choose Family Table to make changes to the table. Now I see the list of all the different components I have. I can go ahead and add rows, add columns, which I'm going to do. For example, I can right click on one of the rows and I can copy it, add a row, delete the row. I can suppress it so it'll still be there but won't show up as a selectable item, and so on. Now to get things started, I'm just going to take the number six screws and select them using shift and left click. With those selected, I'm going to right click now and choose copy. I'll go ahead and I'll scroll all the way to the bottom of the table and I'll right click on the last item and use insert copy rows. Now what that does is it goes ahead and inserts the rows that I copied and I'm going to use those. Next, I'm going to delete the member row. Just right click and delete by choosing the column because I don't want it and I can take it out. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the material. So if we look we can see the material column right here and I'm going to change the copies from steel to stainless steel. I'm only going to change one row for now because I can always right click and copy it, drag or shift and left click to select them all, and then I can paste and change all of those in one shot. Now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to go to this icon here and click on key columns. I'm going to locate that material column, move it over and adjust its position because I want to be able to select this when I place that component. I'll hit OK. It'll go ahead and write those in. And if you want to see all your columns, you can change your filters that I'm indicating right here. I'll hit OK, and that'll go ahead and add the column in. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and finish that out. And now I can go ahead and place the custom content. And now you can see if I choose the number six screw, I have stainless steel and I have my carbon steel. So there's a quick example of some changes you can make. There's definitely a lot more than you can do, but this at least will get you started. Thanks for watching, everybody.